Hello and welcome back to part 7 of my tutorial on how to set up your own affiliate review blog. Today I'm going to show you how to make a product comparison review post and here is my comparison table. I'm going to show you how to do one of these tables without any kind of paid premium plugins, nothing complicated, just using the free built-in feature from WordPress to make a table. Once again, I showed you back in my previous step on essential plugins back right here in part 5 there's a list of essential plugins I recommend and one of them is advanced editor tools this way you will get this nice extra features for changing or customizing your fonts and also the sizes and most importantly this table feature right here where you can add in a table this is how I made this table right here all right so here is the page editor and here's my table and automatically this table is responsive so it means it will change the size depending on your window size if you're using uh, a mobile device or a desktop it'll change the size automatically and now let's go back to the post right here so the heading i got one two three four five six and i am reviewing three products so I'm, i need four rows first row is for the heading right here and then the second row is for the product number one and then product two and three so you can do that right here so let's say you type in some content and then the table you need six columns and and this you can change anytime you want and four rows so for example if i wanted to delete a row i can simply go here and then go to row delete the row now I have three rows and if I want to add a row, go here, insert row after, so I got back four. And the same thing with the columns, you can delete column or remove it, add it anywhere you want. Very simple, nothing complicated. And now you can highlight the top row just like this. It's similar to Excel, if you're familiar with that. And then go to tables, go to cell, table cell properties. You can mess around with the width, the height, the alignment, and the border. So usually in the first row, I like to add a border. And you can mess around with the border colors. And if you want a background, you can do that too. Let's do like a nice little yellow background. Okay, there it is. And then you can call the header whatever you want. Product name, price, ratings, details, etc and you can also highlight this and then change the font or change the size whatever you want there it is and now you fill in the details and simply all you have to do is go to whatever cell you want add media let's add in a product as an example just like that and then add in the next product so nothing complicated very easy to do and one more let's do this one as an example and then you type in whatever product or whatever the details are and if you want you can add in the ratings just like this or add in a fancy stars images that's up to you and then type in the details all right let's do a quick preview okay so there it is nothing difficult and you can customize this any way you like any colors you like you can hide the borders if you want so if we go back here let's highlight all these cells just like that table cell table cell properties advanced border style and then just select none okay and now you have no border if you don't want border let's preview again and now the border is gone and the, the font or the size is small if you don't want that you can change it easily just like this it's up to you now i'm going to show you how to do it with the block editor click here to add a block and then type in table and here you will see table how many columns and rows do you want so let's do the same thing for the only difference is that some of these options and buttons are different so right here if you want to edit the table insert row before after delete insert column before after delete so they're just in different places but all the features are there so make the table however you want and again you can look at other reviews and comparison tables to try to copy just the headings and how they do it, what uh, details they have in their tables. And for me, for this particular website comparison, 
I have these details, rating, details, price, sales page. So they click here, they go to the affiliate sales page and they click here under the review column they go to my review page and making a link is the same thing as any wordpress post you highlight the text and then you go up here insert and then enter in the affiliate link and again there's nothing complicated just start making the table and start practicing uh, don't think too much don't get too complicated all right well i hope that's everything you need to get started with your comparison table Alrighty, that's all for this part 7 tutorial on how to make a comparison review post with a comparison table. And in part 8, I'll show you some simple SEO and traffic strategies. So stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for viewing. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And be sure to subscribe to my channel, How to Webmaster, for more blogging tutorial tips and tricks. Thanks again and happy blogging.